I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is a witch taking her spider for a walk. I take two fingers on the left, up at the top, and I put a dot. And then I take three fingers on the right and put another dot. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a straight line down. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. And leave it floating. Come back to this dot up on the right. Draw a straight line down. Zig, zag, connect. Right next to that, up at the top, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down. Leave it floating because right at the end, we're going to draw a flat oval. Inside the flat oval, we put one dot, two dots. Starting at the left, we put a big curve line up and a big curve line back and connect. Inside we draw straight little lines. Okay? Come up to the top and we're going to go straight diagonal out, straight line, baby circle. Straight line, straight diagonal down, baby circle. Straight line out, down, baby circle, straight line out, down, baby circle. Now everybody's legs are going to be different looking because we all have different size drawings. Now I come over on the left and I go straight diagonal out, straight line, baby circle. Straight diagonal out, straight line, baby circle, straight line out, baby circle, straight line out, straight diagonal, baby circle. Okay. Now I come back over here, and right about here I'm just going to draw one, two straight lines. And right here I'm just going to draw one, two straight lines. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line over. Come on the right, straight line over. Now come back to the top and I go one, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. Now I come back over here on the right. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. And everybody's going to have a different amount of these also. Now I come back to the left and I draw a straight line down. I draw a curve line out, curve line back, straight line and leave it floating. Come back over here on the right and just draw a straight line down straight line across, straight line up, connect. If you have room, skinny rectangle, skinny rectangle. If you have room, if you don't, it's okay. Now we're going to go one, two, three X's. Come over here on the right, we're going to draw straight line down, big curve line up, over, keep going, Leave it floating. Come on this side. Straight line down. Straight line over. Straight line up. Connect. Skinny rectangle. Skinny rectangle if you can fit them in. Then we're going to go one, two, three X's. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my purple and I'm just going to draw some straight lines in this space. Straight lines 
in this space. And again, because we all draw differently, it will all end up with a different amount of lines. But I'm leaving some space in between because we are going to color this in. Next, I take my orange and I color an A, B pattern going down and everybody's going to have a different amount here also. Start at the top. You're going to skip every other all the way down. Okay. Now, with my yellow, I'm going to color these spaces in between yellow all the way down, right and left. And then I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color my baby circles on this space. And I'm going to color my smile yellow. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my orange, and if I did some rectangles, I'm going to color part of these orange, because the rest of this is going to be black. Now, I'm going to color in between my purple lines. You don't have to do them dark, but you kind of want the purple to still show. So you don't want to color over the purple lines. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful. Take your time. You don't get a prize if you're first done. So you're going to color these light black. You're not going to color it real dark black because then you lose all of your designs. So these are going to be black, this space. Then, we're going to come down and we're going to color this space black. And again, you're going to do it lightly because you don't want to lose all your details. This part of your shoe sole, if you have it. If you don't, it's okay. This part, lightly, but, you know, dark enough. And then, don't forget your spider. So you're going to color this black. Okay? The last thing you're going to do, you can color your background any color you want. I chose yellow-green because it just seemed to be the right approach. But you could also use blue-green, turquoise, pink, any color you want. Do your loop-de-loop -loop line going around and around. That's so you don't hurt your hand or get tired coloring. Bring it up. And I've seen some people do this in watercolor. But I don't have any watercolors. And maybe you don't either. But we do have crayons. And it looks great with crayons. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my project all colored in. Okay, 